real name was Adolfo Bresciano, was shot 15 times. Bravo's wife found him slumped on the living room floor of their home in Laval. There were no signs of a struggle or of forced entry to the house. Bravo retired from wrestling only a year ago. He was international heavyweight champion of wrestling in the early 1980s. At least 15 times, they'll only know tomorrow when the uh, uh, morgue conducts the autopsy. Six of those shots were in the face and also uh, something that it could be crucial to the story, two different caliber shells, meaning two different gun all. A wrestling star is shot to death. Take weeks, but an R. Dino Bravo has been shot to death. We know where it happened, at Bravo's Laval home. We know when it happened, early this morning. What we don't know is why it happened. Herb Luff reports. Whoever shot Dino Bravo wanted him dead. The killer, or killers, fired at least 17 bullets from two separate guns, hitting the 44-year-old Bravo several times in the head and upper body. More bullets ricocheted around the room, one hitting a front window of the home on Place Michel Gamela in the Vimo district of Laval. About 12.20 this morning, Bravo's wife returned home with her six-year-old daughter and found her husband's body slumped in a chair in front of the living room television. I can't understand why they would want to shoot somebody like Dino Bravo. The only thing I know, if he was in a fight with somebody, they'd have to use a weapon against him because he's tough. There he is, Dino Bravo! Dino Bravo wrestled for years, working his way up to international champion. He last wrestled as a star with the World Wrestling Federation, but retired a few months ago. Bravo, whose real name was Adolfo Bresciano, fought regularly with wrestlers managed by Eddie the Brain Creechman. I'm still stunned. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. I was shook up, to tell you the truth. To people in the area, Dino Bravo was not just a wrestler, but a quiet neighbor and family man, one they talked to frequently, but a man they did not know well. I was a good guy. He was always going around. He was uh, pretty nice with everybody, you know, and got nothing to say against him. You didn't ever think that something like that could happen in your neighborhood. You know, I mean, it's a very quiet neighborhood here, and it's so tragic. The police say there were no signs of a break-in, no signs of robbery, no signs of a struggle. They say Dino Bravo had an old criminal record for weapons, theft, and other charges, but they have no clue yet who might have murdered Dino Bravo or why. Herb Luff, Pulse News, Laval.